Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this lesson, you'll learn six strategies for improving your listening skills in preparation for your test. Strategy one, listen to English every day. The listening test is designed to test how well you understand spoken English. So the most obvious way to improve your listening skills is to listen to lots of English being spoken. But what should you listen to? You'll find everything you need for free online. Whether you can spare just a few minutes to listen or have an hour of study time planned, there's a wealth of material that you can access in seconds. Listen to a range of things. The test will include two monologues, that's one person speaking, and two conversations, so you must practice listening to both. Online news channels are ideal because news broadcasts contain a good mix of reports and conversations. For all parts of the IELTS exam, I recommend BBC News as the best news channel to tune into. However, for the listening test, listen to the news from a range of English-speaking countries, like the UK, Ireland, the US, Canada, New Zealand, Australia and South Africa. This way you'll get used to understanding different accents. Podcasts are also an excellent resource. They can last for as little as two minutes or go on for an hour or more. They also cover a vast range of topics, so you'll easily find something interesting to listen to in the time you have available. The best platform to search for podcasts is Stitcher. TED Talks are equally useful. These are online lectures, often very short, and they're perfect for practicing listening to monologues. And again, the range of topics is huge. You can also watch TED Talks on YouTube. Then there's YouTube itself, with millions of videos from serious topics to light entertainment. It's an invaluable resource to help you prepare for your exam. Online radio is one of the best sources for interviews. So when you want to practice listening to conversations, tune into a good radio station. If you listen to something every day, ideally for at least 10 to 15 minutes, your listening skills will gradually improve. Strategy two, complete practice tests. Many students make this their top priority and complete test after test. You do need to do practice tests and learn strategies for answering the 10 different types of questions in the listening test, but this will be of limited help in improving the specific skills you need to achieve a high score. I recommend spending 10 to 15% of your preparation time completing practice papers and 85 to 90% of the time listening to spoken English with the resources I've just outlined. As well as improving specific listening skills, this will also quickly improve your general level of English, leading to higher marks in all parts of the IELTS exam. I also recommend that you use only official tests for exam practice, as only these fully replicate the real exam paper that you'll take on the day of your test. There are several available for free online, and have included some on the website. However, the main source of genuine tests is the Cambridge English series of authentic exam papers. These books are excellent. Each contains four complete test papers. Make sure that the copies you buy include an audio CD for the listening test, and some versions don't, and you have to buy them separately. Having said all this, there are many practice tests available that have been created by teachers like myself to teach you the skills needed to do well in your test and to allow you to practice them. And it's fine to use these for this purpose. For lessons on how to answer the 10 different types of questions in the listening test, including practice activities, follow the links in the notes below this video. Strategy three, identify your weaknesses. There's little point in spending hour after hour listening to spoken English and completing practice tests unless you identify your areas of weakness and focus on improving these in particular. Is it grammar that's letting you down? A limited range of vocabulary? Or do you find it hard to follow conversations?
One way to identify your biggest challenges, if you don't already know what they are, is to analyse your results from practice tests and determine what mistakes you're making on a regular basis. The Cambridge English Books of Authentic Test Papers and some online tests include transcripts of the recordings. These will help you to understand why you got a particular answer wrong. Strategy 4. Practice paraphrasing. A specific skill you can practice when listening to spoken English online is paraphrasing. The recordings in the listening test will contain lots of synonyms and paraphrasing of key words and phrases in the questions. Here are a couple of examples for illustration. The answer, the park was first built in 1979, is paraphrased in a recording like this. The park itself wasn't developed until 1979. The answer, the hurricane roller coaster is tall and made of wood, is paraphrased in the recording like this. It's the highest wooden roller coaster in the country. Podcasts are ideal for practicing paraphrasing, as you can stop and restart them at any point. Every so often while you're listening to one, pause the recording after an individual sentence and think how you could paraphrase it and what synonyms you could use. Do this for a few sentences each day and your paraphrasing skills will steadily improve. Strategy 5. Practice prediction. Being able to predict what you might hear in the recording and what will be said during the talk or conversation will greatly help you to understand the audio and identify the information needed for the answers. This is a skill that's easy to practice. First, select something to listen to from one of the many resources we've already talked about. An additional resource that I recommend for practicing prediction is TED-Ed videos. These have several multiple choice and open-ended questions included on the page, which will enable you to practice listening out for specific information, as you'll have to do in the listening test. Click the Think button in the menu to see them. Before you start the video, read the title and predict some related ideas that might be included in the recording. Then, as you listen, pause the audio every now and then and predict how you think the topic will develop in the next few sentences. And, of course, try to identify the answers to the questions if you're using a TED-Ed video. Strategy 6. Understand connected speech. This is something that most students struggle with to some degree or another. Connected speech is when words and sounds run into each other, making it difficult for a non-native speaker to understand what's being said. In these examples you can see the words being spoken, followed by how they might sound to the listener. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to read a book. I'm going to read the book. Come on, let's go to the park. Come on, let's go to the park. I have to do my homework first. I have to do my homework first. There's no easy way to overcome the challenge of connected speech, apart from listening to lots of native speakers speaking at a normal rate. Podcasts are ideal for this, as you can pause them and listen to confusing sentences over and over again until you fully understand what's being said. You'll gradually become familiar with the way words are linked together and find it easier to comprehend fast-paced speech. Doing this regularly will improve your listening skills considerably. I hope you found this lesson on how to improve your listening skills useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now.